This is the Isle of Arran off the west coast of Scotland. This is Arran High, the island's only secondary school. And we are some of the school's most awesome pupils. Except from him. We want to know, are you an enthusiastic teacher looking for a new challenge? Do you fancy a career in the education with all the adventures of life on a scenic island? Then if so, we need your help. On the surface, everything at Arran High appears rosy, but we desperately need more teachers. Our current staff are overworked, stressed and stretched to their limits. Where, where was I? Who are you? What's going on? What's wrong with your head? Miss, what are you on about? Where did he go? Ben, please tell me you saw the little frogman with the monster head. Why are there three of you? Three of me? Miss, are you feeling okay? With the fast pace, high pressure demands and complicated curriculum of modern teaching, our teachers have been found to be slow. Okay class, for today's lesson we're going... With little to no control over classes. Okay everybody, as I was going over this last week, I want eyes on the board so we can go over this again. And as I was saying, so the word bureau of desk is the female, or sorry, is the male, whereas table or table is the male. <laughs> and many of them at breaking point in terms of stress management. <laughs> to top it all off, we've recently had unwanted visitors. Okay, everybody, if you could all get your tablets out and open up the camera app. As a result, our pupils are falling behind. Oh, no. Okay, let's try it again. I've got four oranges, I eat two, and I give one to Megan. How many do I have left? <laughs> Yes, Saskia? I don't know, I'm putting my arm up because it's sore. Remember, Adam, don't put that match anywhere near the bottle. So as you can see, we need your help. If you're a passionate teacher in search of a new experience and a different way of life, or if you're a ghostbuster who specialises in infestations of alien cyborgs, we need to hear from you. Aaron is the ideal location that's perfect weather. The island has its own microclimate, which means it's permanently hot and sunny. Why is the weather all so hot here? Why can't it rain just once? Our teachers are very handsomely paid. <laughs> and to top it all off, we also throw in your own personal car. If all of this sounds like a perfect job, get in touch. When AYF really were first asked to make a film about Arden High School, I did warn that the end result would be cheeky and full of humour, um, which I think it's proven to be. But it's also turned out really well, and I think it shows the affection that the young people have for their school. Um, so what follows is really just a series of short interviews um, that the young people did with their teachers, just to give the staff at Arden High a chance to put across their side and um, give an idea of how they feel 
life of the school is. What's the benefits of working here? Um, it's a brilliant place to work because it's very, it's very relaxed. Um, because you're not, um, because you're not kind of always feeling as if you know you're, you're trying to avoid pupils all the time because you guys are just everywhere anyway. You get very used to it very quickly, and actually, it's really nice um, that the people that you see and, and teach on a day-to-day -day basis, you actually know a bit better than you otherwise would. I think probably working in most mainland schools, you've also got the benefit of just the place in general. It's a brilliant island, it's lovely and quiet in the winter but it's nice and busy in the summer time. The weather's actually not as bad as the, the weatherman would have you believe um, and there's so much to do. If like me you're interested in walking and camping and that kind of outdoors type stuff, this is about the best place to be, especially given that when you do need to go to Glasgow, when you do want to go back to the mainland, it's actually only an hour away so it feels very remote but when you don't want to be isolated you don't have to be. I think that's probably maybe the biggest attraction of being here. What do you like most about Arran High School? I like the music department most. I think the music department is probably the best department in the school. We've got lots of good resources and we've got lots of people who play lots of different instruments and they, they practice very hard so we've got lots of good bands and choirs and things like that. So I think it's not just you know, the work that people do in class, I think it's about the extracurricular things as well and I think that's probably a big strength of the school and it's certainly the thing I like most about Arran High School. What first attracted you to Arran? Um, I saw an advert in Private Eye magazine, um, seven days board and log lodging for three days work. So I came up and thought I'd stay a season, a, a year rather, to see all the seasons. And that was 30, 36 years ago, I never left. I love it, it's great. It's got sea, mountains, forests, weird people, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about Arran High School? Not, not the benefits or what's more positive than other schools on the mainland? Um, I like the fact that there is um, mutual respect from the children. So it's, it's a safe environment. I can leave my room unlocked, whereas I couldn't do that in London. I'd have lost half of my... Uh, bits and bobs. Um, I like um, the position, I like the fact I can see Holy Isle out my window, I like the fact that the primary and the nursery and the high school are all together, so everyone's together and all the schools come together for secondary school in one place. What are the benefits of working here? The benefits of working in our fabulous scenery. Um, staff and lots of things to do in the island. So I've been kept very busy since I moved over last August. But um, yeah, that's some of the things. What would be your advice to new teachers that would be here? To new teachers who are actually coming here? Yeah. Um, I think my advice to anybody coming here would just be to sort of to jump into it. Um, you're not going to be able to come here and sort of um, be half involved. You're not. This isn't the kind of place where you're going to you're going to come and feel on your own. It's the kind of place where, to, for it to work for you, you want to you want to come and you want to really kind of make a decision that you want to be involved in a community school, that you want to be involved in extracurricular work, that you want to get to know the people who live here and actually make it a place worth staying, realistically, would be, would be my advice. But I would certainly advise, and I have advised, um, a lot of friends of mine who are teachers to, to come here when jobs have come up. I'm always telling them that they, they should apply because I think a lot of people would worry about it at first, would worry about being maybe a bit away from their family or, or feeling a bit isolated, but it, it couldn't be further from the truth once you're here. I, I moved here without my fam no family, I didn't know anybody when I came really, except for one, one friend, and now I wouldn't really want to be anywhere else, and that's just in the space of two years.